So John, what are the benefits of NVMe-based uh, Optane uh, devices or 3D crosspoint uh, storage devices? So NVMe Optane's uh, unique from traditional NAND. It's a it's actually a different class of persistent memory, and it has some unique characteristics. Uh, when you look at these devices, you'll often see very high rated uh, write endurance. So even historically, we used to think ten drive writes per day uh, was a really good storage device. Like that's the penultimate, and Optane comes in, you know, often at thirty drive writes per day. So this is some th this stuff can really take a beating in high write environments. The other characteristics are often uh, NVMe or SAS or SATA flash devices. You'll see them rated on the spec sheet at a certain max throughput. And that's kind of a, you know, yes, that is a number that's there that if you're at max queued up, you could hit in theory and all you're doing are reads or all you're doing are writes. But in mixed workloads, um, the performance is often a bit different when you're having to operate both reads and writes. And most people do some blend of those. And Optane has consistently delivered really good consistency of latency under mixed uh, rewrite workloads. Um, and so for environments where you're very latency sensitive, you're gonna have really heavy duty cycles. Um, Optane can be a very nice kind of high-end uh, cache device for those uh, more sensitive uh, workloads. And will that help more uh, on in terms of the, the uh, performance of the VM and the consistency of the performance of that VM, or is it just more of the absolute uh, top line uh, performance that they may see? So there, there obviously can be some more top end performance with these devices, but that latency consistency, there's this term we call tail latency, where if I run a hundred IO, you know, yes, I'll get the low latency, I promise, but one out of every thousand or something, I get some kind of deviation. This is very common in NAND. When we mm -hmm. see average latencies, uh, we don't actually always see the really kind of ugly outliers. And that's just the function of how NAND and, and operates. But Optane is much better on tail latency. You can add some extra kind of nines to that consistency of operation. And what that's going to drive for latency sensitive databases is less time with the CPU spent, spent stalling on some serial processing path uh, where it's waiting on an, an outlier in latency.